Today, I wanna to share with you five productivity hacks that are part of my monthly planning routine. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. Hello, my charmed ones, and welcome back to my channel for another video. And if this is your first time with me, I'd like to say welcome. My name is Alexis, but I'm also known as Miss Trenchcoat all across the internet. I'm an online entrepreneur who designs and sells productivity tools, strategies, and skills to help you manifest success with less stress. If that sounds interesting to you, I'll leave some links down below in the description box where you can check out more of my work online. And feel free to download some of my latest free productivity tools over at thecharmshop.com. So of course, every weekend I plan out my week ahead, but before the start of a new month, I actually have a entire process for how I will plan out my monthly tasks as well. And this will include a set of productive routines that are not necessarily planning related that help me to maximize or hack my productivity. So let's take a look at each. Number one is a brain dump. Although brain dumps are part of my planning process, they are more of a productivity hack than a planning process in and of themselves. If you aren't familiar, a brain dump is the process of listing out all of the things you're holding on to in your memory that you need to do or remember. My planner includes a dedicated brain dump insert where I list out all the things I'm remembering but need to actually turn into plans, and then a second insert where I can organize those items based on priority. Number two, inbox zero. Like most people, my email inbox is a source of tasks and work for me, and I like to make sure I go through it and reach inbox zero on a monthly basis. I actually have a whole video on this process because it's more than I can fit in today's video, so if you're interested, I'll leave it linked in the description. Number three, a digital sync. If you're like me and you live on your iPhone and get lots of inspiration and ideas from social media or digital content, you might have a lot of screenshots on your phone that you need to review and organize. So on a monthly basis, I perform a digital sync, which is essentially me going through my photos and different apps to aggregate ideas. Now, luckily, I use Apple Notes for my on-the-go note-taking, so those sync to my MacBook automatically, and I'm able to obviously integrate those frequently into my plans, but my photos and screenshots are usually a mess that I need to filter through, add ideas to my brain dump list or a project plan, and then delete so I don't waste precious space on my phone. Number four, track stats. Since I run an online business, my statistics for social media and content are important to me. In the past, I've been lax about tracking them, and of course, it's resulted in stagnancy for those platforms. So in the last few months, I've gotten back into the habit of tracking my stats monthly so I can make sure my numbers are moving in the right direction and my effort with work and content is paying off. Number five, make a victory list. At the start of a new month, it's easy to forget about all of the wins that you had in the previous month. So I keep a victory list in my planner as well, where I make sure to track the things I did that I'm proud of from that month. That's a great way to stay motivated and inspired to keep going. So I hope these five monthly productivity hacks have been inspiring to you and help you add a new routine to your monthly planning. If you have any other monthly planning hacks that you can share, feel free to leave those in the comments. I would love to hear what your hacks are. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with anyone you think would find it helpful. For more of the behind the scenes on my productivity life and business, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Miss Trenchcoat. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye-bye.